Hello everyone, it's your Moby here and welcome back to another Call of Dragons video. So it's been 10 days I, have been, I haven't posted any video. So right now we have some exciting infos to share regarding the Call of Dragons future and upcoming update ideas. So we have two new updates to share with you. The one include two new commanders coming to the game and the other one is save zones for the, your city in this server of Call of Dragons. So let's get straight to the video and let's know what are the things that is coming to the game. Welcome back. So the official Call of Dragons Discord team as well as the game has announced two new updates for us regarding the future of the game and the first one includes an event based theme and which they completely disclosed the two names of the commanders coming to the game soon as soon as possible in the game. So the two new commanders are Bertrand and Toher. So they haven't said which type of commander they are or which skill set they have or which talents they prefer. So we doesn't know what type of commanders will this be but we have the two images of these commanders that is Toher as well as Bertrand. So Bertrand is kind of a Spring Warren type commander as well as a Toher is a uh, uh, whereas Toher is a Wilderberg type of commander and which is very similar to that of Hosk. Uh, we can pretty much similar to that Hosk, Hosk but some kind of I don't know uh, there's a difference I can't uh, see what it is. So you don't know what this commander's power will be. So right from the images and uh, the right now they are doing an event where you have to predict the uh, the name uh, the they have already disclosed the two names that is Toher and Beltran but you have to predict whether what are their hero talents and what are their skill sets so this is where and you if you are trying to participate in this event you can go to the discord section of the call of dragons game and click on the event section and you can see the poster there and click on this girls hero talent then you can Type, uh, type down your predictions regarding these two heroes and win some 3000 gems in game burn in game things right now right here so let's get see what type of commanders I expect them to be so Bertrand and Toher from my my kind of knowledge I think will be a mage type of commanders but I have a slight feeling that Toher is not completely a mage because Okay, you can see an arc. Uh, if I, uh, if I, if I, you, if you zoom right here in in this section, you can see that there is a hammer in between his hands, where Toha is holding a hammer in between his hands. So this might be a, so this might be a engineering hero. I think so. The Toha must be an engineering magic hero, similar to that of Nico. There were he is a engineering a marksman hero so I am expecting that Toha will be an engineering sorry ma uh, magic engineering hero whereas this Bertrand will be a rally or garrison magic hero so probably Toha will be available in the wheel of, wheel of will be available in the spinning uh, wheel and as well as Bertrand will be available in the strongest load that is what I predict so Bertrand's possible skill skill sets will be uh, skill sets will be either a cavalry rally precision commander or cavalry garrison precision commander. I think either of this will be the Bertrand skill set because I prefer the, because she this this fellow will be the uh, strongest lord commander and I probably sure that currently we have no rally or garrison commander for majors. So I am hoping either a garrison or a rally commander for mages whereas this case Toha I first think that this will be uh, garrison and this will be rally but by seeing this uh, hammer image in between his hands I'm completely sure that Toha will be an magic engineering type of commander and which will be a disappointing because currently engineering commanders have no such of big use other than uh, you you already know which are the commanders I am talking about. One is Nico, but st he is good at 
uh, he is marksman engineering and precision which is good also but rather than that the second one is auto which we don't currently use un unless we use in um, uh, battlefields where you construct or destruct any flags or as you say forts etc so currently that this will be a mage engineering commander and this will be a garrison or rally commander for majors so i'm pretty sure that these two commanders is majors and the, the new two commanders are majors and if you are trying to save up some gold head heroes so try to stay with us now and get these two commanders if you really want it we will wait and see what are the skill set as soon as possible because I am sure, pretty sure that within next week they will be releasing the details as well as releasing the commanders in two weeks time. So this is what the first news is all about that two new commanders are coming to the game and that is Bertrand and Toha. Now then let's get to the second important official announcement by the Call of Dragons team. If you go into the announcement section here, you can see that you can also see this information in the game as well in the mail section but right now I'm in discord so I will be covering right now discord information so let's I will be reading it first for you guys to enhance the social aspect of the game the team is planning to implement the following changes but before proce proceeding we would like to gather feedback from our community so they are trying to get to gather uh, information and they are providing some information and we have to provide some feedback regarding this update whether it is good for them or not so that they can plan accordingly to in the next update. So the thing is, the background for this is that in the aftermath of the season reset, the absence of retained initial servers that is home or kingdom identity has made it challenging for lords to create a stable social space and find like-minded allies. That's very true. Because of there is no home, there is no a kingdom to say as home for every people playing this game. It has been become hard uh, based on the loyalty as well as attachment to an alliance or a server, and that has made this game very very backstabbing type of game. Uh, but rather than that, there there there, there is been an issue. There is a stable social space that is finding this mind like-minded allies has been happening in this game for a long time. So that is what they are going to say. Despite the alliance officer's best effort after entering the new season, the disappearance of previous social connection has created situation where former allies found themselves pitted against each other. So this is what I meant. There has been former allies found themselves uh, fighting each other because of there is no loyalty or there is no attachment to one of the servers or home kingdom or home server in the game because there is no home kingdom or home server in the game unless every every server and every kingdom resets after each season this makes it very hard to have a social connection or a connection between alliances or uh, members kind of attachment to an alliance in this game so the water this is this a problem they have been re, uh, back checking for a long time that's what they are saying now they are going to propose a plans they are going to implement as soon as possible so this is this plan is what they want our our feedback for them so let's get to the plans in response to this we are considering the addition of in initial servers which can allow lords to choose to return to their initial servers at any time and establish a home base for socializing. So they are trying to build a home server or initial server or you can say home kingdom for the community so that they can return to their initial server or home kingdom or home server at any time and establishing a uh, home base there so this is very very good updating because currently this is the only thing that makes and that's make the strong difference between call of dragons game as well as rise of kingdoms their the predecessor of the game and which is this is one of the most important thing which make them more 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 differentiated and also which make them rise which make the rise of kingdoms games more attached to the players as well as right here so the changes they are going to introduce based on this are the initial servers will be permanently retained and lords can choose to return to their initial server in any season for lords who have already been through the season we will add a server located in Temeris as the initial server so what this says is that whenever if you are a new player 
whenever wherever you created a server where, wherever you joined a server which act as your initial server and it will be permanently retained and lords have can choose even if you go to season 2 or season 2 plus or season 3 or coming seasons you can return to the initial servers in any season without any problem and for those who have already playing this game and already completed their initial server season 2 season 2 plus etc for them they are planning to add a server that is located in Tamaris as their initial server so they that server act as their initial servers for those who are already player playing in the game so this is a very good news thing for the players of Call of Dragons so the second point is after the end of season 1 season registration and matchmaking will be based on the initial server so this is very similar to uh, that of Rise of Kingdoms but I will say that after every season or I think they are only saying about season 1 that's why I'm confused but either way at the at the end of season 1 the registration season registration and matchmaking is only based on the initial servers power and and top 300 power things and kill rank merit rankings that's um, that's where they mainly focus before registration and matchmaking. the third thing is that alliance will be affiliated with the initial server and will no longer disband at the end of season so all the alliances that will be affiliated with the initial server will no longer disband at the end of the season so this is a, is a bit confusing so they are saying that the affiliated alliances won't be disbanded at the end of season 1 so if the players who have migrated then, then there is a possibility that alliance can get disbanded I don't know I have to confirm once it is arrived the fourth point is a cross server migration feature will be added allowing you to the chiefs and initial or oh, that so the fourth point clarifies it there will be a cross server mig migration system which will be added to the game where you can choose your initial server that best suits you so this is a very good thing by loop by doing this you can uh, you have no you have no problem with at the end of the season the alliance getting disbanded so this is a very great suggestion I will be covering up this later because people have to respond this and come to have some feedbacks regarding this and they will be probably checking all the feedbacks and try to get an update note regarding this as soon as possible so these are the two important things they have introduced and they have announced right now right today at this it is called channel as well as in the game so this has been a very fantastic day because two new announcement and two good new announcement because we're getting two new heroes two mage heroes and uh, we are also getting a home kingdom or, or you can say home server which is a very good feature coming to call of dragons as my model so that's all for today's video i hope you found this video helpful if you did please let me know in the comment section if you have anything regarded to the call of dragons i which i have to cover please let me know and before going please subscribe my channel and hit the notification button for more support and more call of dragons videos so until i come with a new video goodbye